Pranati Rai, thank you so much for joining me on How I Made It. How is life treating you after the Miss India contest? It's been well, nearly, it's been a, it's been nearly six years. Tell us. It's been a while. I did Miss India when I was in college. I wanted to be a Miss Universe, <laughs> and then I just started there. Uh, well, I didn't go up further, but then I got back to college. Um, and after that, I think I had these opportunities for the uh, acting in the TV ads and uh, modeling for fashion shows. So a lot of um, casting messages would come to me, audition messages to, uh, would come to me. And I started cracking them and getting my first jobs, of course. So thanks to the Miss India organization for making that happen, uh, giving me that platform, I would say. And um, yeah, I think ever since I've just been working, doing things that I love, I was studying designing. So I finished my college graduation and I graduated. I'm from NIFT Mumbai. So yeah, meanwhile, I kept like doing whatever jobs I could do, acting and modeling jobs. And now I'm doing web series and movies. Um, so here I am. I'm a, it's been uh, it's been I like years, yeah. I like the way you started by saying I wanted to be Miss Universe. Let me ask you straight up: <laughs> Were you extremely disappointed when you couldn't make it? No, honestly, not. I I was doing really well. In fact, I won this Miss Talented, Miss Fashion Icon. No, and coming to that, you uh, won one more. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was just coming to that. You won so many titles. Yeah, so for me, it was like, um, I wasn't even aiming to be in the pageant back then. I got selected from IIT's Mood and Dego for Campus Princess. I won this, I won, she's got the look there and it kind of just happened. Um, and I was just glad that I reached where I did. And I did um, very well and I made my, I think college was very proud. Everyone was very proud. So at that time, it wasn't really like, oh no, I didn't make it because it wasn't like, any or something that would really cause me any harm it was just like a cherry on the top i was doing so well um so yeah i was just very happy to be a part of it for me miss india was uh, hugely like a grooming uh, phase of my life that taught me how to be all like feminine and you know uh yeah it was a lot about grooming for me i learned so much there so i feel just having that exposure at that young age was a big deal for me what do you think was that one thing which went, uh, say, against you and you couldn't go ahead in the competition? Where did you get a mistake? Or marks I don't think so much. It's six years back. I don't care about it. It really doesn't make any bit of a difference to me. I'm doing better than uh, my, I mean, you know, what I would have thought. So I'm really happy. Do you care when it comes to getting roles? As you said, you went through a series of auditions and you started you know, looking out for work. I'm sure there must be times that you were almost selected for a role and then told at the last minute or a few days before, okay, you are not doing this, someone else is doing it. Yeah, that has happened with me once. There was this ad that I got selected for and I had packed my bags it was in Chandigarh and I was so excited I was going to be shooting in and um, and they told me we would be shooting in a helicopter so that was very exciting and I had my bags packed in the army canton and I was like yay nice um, and then last minute I think around 10 o'clock at night I got a call saying that there is a very really sorry to inform you there's a little change in the cast and I was very upset. In fact, this is Ganesh Chaturji time and I must tell you this, what happened was really sad. So Ganesh Ji is like my best friend, okay? I talk to him, I share with him, I tell him, I want this Ganesh Ji, please make this happen and everything. And I was so angry. I was like, I'm working so hard and I, I packed him and I put him inside my bed. I was like, Ab aap gain te I was very angry. So that is what I do. With, um, did that time. I was very... I was very upset. I was a little heartbroken. 
uh but i think um this field definitely uh teaches you you know experiences like this when you kind of um have really put in your 100% and still because of some reason that you're not even aware of things uh, don't work out and then you're just upset but then that makes you so much stronger internally because um i feel strength is to keep going on you know to gather that courage uh, and that strength to keep going on that's um, that's i think beautiful for me and that's what i've learned being in the industry so ganesh ji kitne din bag mein the kafi din the kafi din then i was like uh, thode time baad um, and it wasn't just that murti aur bhi chalisa bhi thi bahar rakhe hue the then i was like acha theek hai chalo sorry and then i put him back <laughs> so which project pranita you think gave you that feeling okay a sigh of relief happiness equivalent and you said okay my journey has begun there is no one project honestly i mean life uh, has kept surprising me each time uh, i mean take miss india for example i was in campus princess for a week and i got that one week of a leave from college you know my teachers were like okay fine pranati go do this i was um, i was a very good student i used to score really good grades my attendance was good so i was allowed that now i finish a week i have no idea next i go to is the miss india finale i'm at sophie tell and my parents don't know nobody knows anything nobody knows that i am actually at the miss india finale and after getting selected i just made a facebook status saying that you know i'm a miss india finalist now and that's when i told my parents and they were all like oh what even india's next top model was like that just uh, two days before two or three days before i sent my form and just filled all of these uh, interviews and questionnaires were there in fact and i had to do ramp walk and everything and i did that and then next time selected for it so i feel all of these moments for my first ad in fact uh, when i did my amway face cream ad that was again like a matter of 2 3 days and suddenly i'm here shooting as the main girl in himachal um, in manali in the monasteries and saying these cool dialogues kyun ki mujhe khoobsurti se badh kar bhi kuch hai you know so i felt like i feel like um, there been many times like that when i have been very grateful and i felt like i have really like had those tears in my eyes and felt like this is beautiful the when i have dreamt of things and manifested my dreams all of them so there might be little 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 bits so it's not one project that's kind of taken me anywhere it's my constant hard work that's got me so far and i value each of it what do you look at when you say look at a project or an offer is it the role is it the male lead opposite whom you are cast is it the director or is it the money money is the last thing that i look for because i think i'm such a young age right now that i need to first learn a lot gather a lot of experience and um, yeah i started working in college so i feel like money kind of came to me and it's it's good it's good to have money but i can't be this age and thinking oh i want money first so that will be like the most stupid thing i could do in my career right now so money definitely not um, and i feel if the project is big the money will obviously be big and um, even if it not it's not a lot of money i feel the reach the kind of reach Uh, a big a good project has makes all the difference um now what i look for yes all of the uh, others that you said uh, and money of course if someone's paying you really less for a job that uh, requires much more uh, i might discuss but if the role is great i might be like okay but yeah it's i think a combination of all of the above that you said now how do i select is honestly it's like i'm a be- i'm very moody so there are phases in my life so whatever mood i am in you know when you fall in love you just fall in love you're like i like i like that girl you don't care about whether her hair is long or how beautiful she is you know it's like you just fall in love so i feel uh, the moment i listen to a script and i feel like i can connect to the character and uh, for me doing every role is like my heart is that character's heart our hearts have to be in sync because that's when i will be able to be that character for you know months 
because it definitely takes like two, three months from your prep to your shoot. So I need to want to feel like the character. That's most important. Um, like yesterday, a script came to me, which is very, uh, it was the main lead. It was a lot of good money. Everything was great, but it was a very traumatic uh, traumatic life of the character I felt like oh my god I can't do this I might just go under depression if I do this it was it was very 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 um, sad and traumatic so I told him that no I, I can't so there's scripts like that then there's sometimes scripts that I feel like I, I won't be able to contribute much because obviously you're looking at an upgrade constantly so I feel it's a combination of everything and more than all of it it's about me feeling like that character if I feel I can relate to any of its uh, personality traits and uh, it's about communication end of the day right you're communicating on behalf of the character so yeah to fall in love with the character feel like the character is most important has Pranati fallen in love in real life and is she single at the moment I like to say that I'm single at the moment. I love falling in love. I love the feeling of falling in love. Um, yep. And I keep falling in love again and again. No, but like, no, it's not like that. No, <laughs> I think no, I'm very much. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I like the idea of love for sure. When it comes to choosing a script, as we spoke about, you have done web shows and movies both. Now, when it comes to web shows, Pranati, you know, they are now often loaded, if I can use that term, with cuss words, with intimate scenes. Quite a few of them. Are you comfortable doing so, such roles in such projects? So I've actually once got a kissing scene cut from my script, you know, I was like, I spoke to my director. I was like, so do you think it like fits in the character equation? I feel like he should just kiss on my forehead. And I, and, he, and we actually discussed about it and we felt like a kiss on the forehead would be better. Uh, I'm a little exclusive sort of a person. I'm like, if I have a kiss on screen, it better be worth it, you know? So I have kissed on screen, but like um, that was in Manpur Ganj Ki Bini, my web series. Uh, the show was about me. The character had to be in love with this guy and uh, go to an extent where you know she has a trouble and then everything happens so if if it's significant then I will do it if it's not significant I'm not gonna just randomly go you know be okay with it uh, that's one thing um, and otherwise now talking about web series I feel like it depends on the genre of the show there's so many shows there's so many so much great work happening on the uh, OTT platforms I'm amazed watching them. I'm like, wow, so good. Like my recent show also that released, Cartel, mm, you know, it's on Old Balaji and um, uh, it's also on MX Player. Uh, I was watching it and there are scenes like that. I'm sure the cuss words also, uh, there are. But um, it depends on what the context is. So I feel like my character doesn't uh, really do much uh, into like it's not into intimate zone or or into cuss words but I feel the other characters for example like my co-actors who are doing it I know them what brilliant actors they are and trust me to pull that off it's very difficult and as long as it's a part of the script to convey something uh, and as you know you know like web series are very realistic the very realistic so if something's really happening in the world how can you not show it you know, so because it's it's detailed, it's not like just one and a half, two hours of watch that you can make everything flowery and nice and just not. So if you're showing phone calls, you're showing moles on a person's face. So you have to get into other detailings as well. Yes, how you portray it, how you treat a certain uh, scene is up to you. And that must be uh, done in good taste, I feel. When we speak to actors more so recently, Many of them tell us that the makers of web shows, TV shows, and some from movie world also select those who have a larger fan following on Instagram. It's sort of, you know, many publicity bhi ho rahi hai. Iski jadi following hai. Isko select karte hai. 
इसके चांसेस सिलेक्ट होने के ज्यादा हैं क्या आपने ये एक्सपीरियंस किया है ऑनेस्टली आई हैव हर्ड क्वाइट अ लॉट अबाउट इट यू नो दैट डज हैपन बट एट द सेम टाइम बीइंग समवन फ्रॉम um from not i wouldn't say industry but an artist if i am making a piece of art i will put like um it's like if i have to make a drawing i have to make this t-shirt i will put the colors that i want to just because uh, black is a popular color doesn't mean like i'll put it in this because my art spoils so that's how i look at work i don't think uh, you can replace your characters in your head with uh, actors just because they have a certain fan following and why do we think so this is i feel like backward thinking not backward like when you think backwards you know acha following kitni hai so my marketing is set my business is set my sales are set or oh, let's work backwards so pehle is actor ko lete hain how about we just thought about making such a great show that you actually give uh, give an opportunity to to an actor to grow that much by uh, and i feel like the audience is buying that more now you know uh, that is more important uh, to give good work and there are so many shows right now where the actors have done a brilliant job and they are now now so successful and popular on instagram so definitely i feel that's the way to go about it and people who uh, do feel the other way around i mean that's that's completely fine because someone's investing money on their project and it only makes sense that you are able to uh, you know at least ensure something kya it's like fixed deposit chalo itna to aa hi jayega return sort of a thing if, if my understanding is right so i feel to each his own but i don't think that should be a parameter for the selection of an actor what you are saying is this is undesirable and i agree with you but have you also seen that this particular trend tends to lead some actors putting up desperately you know some pictures on instagram some bold pictures some some comment which car you know just wants to catch the eye or which just has the potential to catch the eye have you seen that also happening um seen what i feel like everyone's definitely see it's work eventually for everyone it's something that people love and they want and they're trying at least as long as nobody is harming the other person I'm cool. I might have seen, but I don't uh, pay much attention to it. I'm like everyone's trying, yeah. Like everyone's trying. That's just trying to do the best they can, and I feel it's sweet. I find it really sweet, honestly. Unless you're trying to harm someone and write like wrong stuff about it, that that's bad. But otherwise, it's nice, na? Why not? And I, uh, I myself, I feel I have a decent enough following, so. I don't know about others, yeah, but then the top actresses as well that I might be uh, able to compete with right now because uh, I mean everyone's journey is different. Well, if I would attempt to do something like that, no. Reels have been in fashion for the longest time, but I just feel like that's not me. If I don't believe in it, if that's not me, same as selecting a character, I won't do it. You know, I just won't do it. That's that's it. Uh, I have some beautiful, bold, big. They say bold pictures for me. It's just like me and a photographer collaborating to create something beautiful. Like my favorite photographers are Farouk. Uh, There's one called Natalia. The beautiful photographers, and I look at it as a piece of art. Then you know, maybe people will be like, "Oh my God, she's like hot or whatever." But I'm like, okay, I was just trying to create something, you know. So to each his own. Their intentions can be different, but it's okay. I feel like if as the intention somewhere is right hai na the intention is only to back something out of it to come in the eye and i feel that's very sweet so what's next pranati what's the next project in your kitty my next project is a web series that i'm doing um and um, yep i have something very different to do here uh, it's very exciting she's a little sad and troubled uh and um yeah i i really like her that's that's the next one i'm doing and the one that's releasing is a web film it's called penthouse and uh, you might see me doing something exciting in that uh, it was a very tough tough one uh, tough choice for me to make 
um i was like okay what to do but then i think i made a braver decision now let's see what happens thank you pranadeep thank you so much for this interview it's been lovely talking to you thank you so much vicky i i wish i had like a greater time notice and i could have dressed up and stuff because i thought it was going to be a call interview <laughs> and here we are on the zoom call but i thought i'll keep it very like natural and candid and it just came here thank you pranadeep thank you so much